Hello Twin Flames, thank you for being here, for liking, subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me, it means the world as you know and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So let's see what the energy is for today, let's tune in with the connection, just to let you know if you are a member, I'm going to be uploading all the horoscopes today for March, I'm also doing a DM to DF message, so they are going to be up early for members and they will be live for everyone else at the end of the week but right now let's tap in and see what's coming in so thank you angels what's the energy please around the connection so we're going to use the animal totems deck today the miracles now the beyond indigo divine guidance deck the empowering questions and then we're going to bring in the masculine messages of love the masculine 101 the divine feminine power messages and the dm confessions so let's see what we need to know. So what's the energy, please, around the connection today? Wow, you know, it's so strange this card's come up because I had a feeling it would. Okay, we've got the moose, the friendship card, and that reminds me of a stag. So this is also a big reminder for you that the promise is still there, the union is still flowing in, and it will be built back up with friendship. And we've got the innocence message of the sheep here. So I feel this is a big sign that, friendships are being restored when we forgive you know yesterday we had that energy coming up to forgive your twit you know to forgive your divine masculine and to realize that they are innocent on this journey so the sheep is reminding you of your power to be you to step away from the crowd to trust that they will do what they need to do and the friendship will be restored you are being encouraged to create an atmosphere in your life that will attract love so you're being prepared for union. You're being asked to clear your space, to make room for what's to come, to change your feelings about this connection, to see with the eyes of love, not operating through fear. So you're starting to realize that your masculine is innocent and they are just like you. They've come here to grow, to learn, to understand. They've come here to gain spiritual wisdom and clarity and knowledge and wisdom about who they are. This is about knowing that what your heart is telling you is the truth. So the moose is saying to you, listen to what your heart is saying to you. Listen to what your heart is telling you, because that's where the true power is. This is the time to cultivate new friendships, which can very well turn into romantic relationships. So I feel this is the opportunity to start it back up. You know, the opportunity to bring the friendship back in. Maybe some of you are building on that now. Maybe you're masculine saying to you, let's just be friends or trying to work on that part of the connection because that's what will lead to love. You know, the reason me and George have got such a powerful connection is because we work on the friendship. You know, we're best friends united in love and it's the friendship that holds the glue together. You know, everything else is a bonus in the twin flame connection and union is about love, friendship, power and that dynamic bond which can turn into romantic relationships. So what I feel is some of you are turning things around right now. You're turning this connection around by focusing on love, by working things out. And yesterday, remember, we did that powerful lesson, the homework about focusing on what you're understanding and learning right now and what you've learned along the way. So this is about remembering who you are, that you are powerful and strong, that you are a leader of light. And the message says, if you're already in a committed relationship, which you are, because you were committed to this connection. The moose symbolism can change it for the better. So there's changes coming in that will be for the better. So things are getting better and better and better. And the more love you send out, the more love you receive. And the sheep encourages you to call on memories of gentle situations or gentle events where you felt innocent and inspired to be you. So the angels are reminding you to be kind, to be loving, to be gentle and to bring that energy into the connection. There's times that you've shared, those intimate times where you've made love and been together and touched each other's skin because that's gentle energy. So this is what's flowing into the connection today. So the energy around the connection is gentleness, friendship and love. 
feel inspired today to bring more of this gentle energy into your present life. Be more tolerant with yourself. Look at any emotional suffering you may experience in your life with compassion and take care of yourself instead of blaming yourself or blaming others for how bad you feel. So you're taking hold of this connection today and you're taking control of your life. So the energy around today is you're taking back your power and you're feeling at peace. So divine feminine, this is moving forward and you are safe. So what animals are around the feminine today? What do we need to know? Well, look at this. We've got the grasshopper and the deer. These two are both moving. So the grasshopper is about inspiration and the deer is about sensitivity. And the deer, remember, is the opposite of the stag. So this is kind of like the, you know, the what complements the stag energy. So the deer is the reminder of this sensitive kindness within you as the feminine, the nurture it, the power of the love. And this beautiful grasshopper is inspiring you to be you, to remember that the light will come through. And you can see that there's a lot of confusion and grey area around this deer. And then around this beautiful grasshopper, you've got the light. So this is a reminder that the confusion will clear, that clarity will come, that the sun will shine again. And I feel this is also the stag. So a lot of stag symbolism coming in today because you've seen this here you know, those antlers there or those horns coming up, showing you the truth, the promise of union, that things will be okay. The grasshopper chooses those who want to move ahead in life. In feminine, the grasshoppers chose you today because you want to get ahead, not only in your life, but in your union. You want to move it forward now. You want to get ahead. When you are inspired by the grasshopper, jump forward and get past whatever is holding you back so let go of the past let go of the blame the fear let go of the doubt the struggle and jump over those challenges or obstacles jump over those fences and it will set you free the grasshopper's ability to connect and understand sound vibrations is why he is also a symbol of your inner voice he could be telling you to trust yours. So you're being reminded here as a divine feminine to trust your inner voice, to trust your intuition, your psychic side, and most importantly, to follow your heart and to listen to what your heart is saying to you. And that's be kind. You are highly sensitive and possess a strong and innate intuition. So as a divine feminine, you're being reminded of your power. By having an affinity with the deer, you have the power to deal with challenges with ease and grace. Be vigilant, move quickly and trust your instincts to get yourself out of tricky situations. And tricky situations are created through the ego, which bring in all the fear. You know, those cloudy moments, those moments of doubt, struggle, where you don't really understand or know what's going on. So what symbol is around your masculine today? Wow, we've got the crane for privacy. So your masculine likes his privacy. You know, maybe he's been quiet right now. He's not posting much on social media or he's keeping things close to his chest. It's because he's working things out and he's processing things. You have been asked to use, asked to use your past as a source of strength in the present. And the masculines were going through this yesterday. You know, realizing things, waking up, understanding that the power is in the now and that the past has got them where they are. So your masculine is going over things in their life. They're renewing their life by reviewing their life, working out why things have happened the way they have. Cranes appear to people who would be well advised to keep a degree of secrecy. So protect your family and maintain balance above all else. And yesterday it was that energy of balance. The masculine's gaining balance, understanding that they need to be able to give what they receive and finding their way. And if you find that your masculine is being a bit quiet right now or a bit secret about the connection, they may be dealing with their 3D world, their family, trying to protect their family, their children, and they are trying to find a way out. They want to find a way out of that place. 
The cranes choose their battles wisely and opt for quiet wisdom and privacy over aggression. So it feels like they're being quiet today rather than aggressive. And they're giving me tooth pain. So it feels like they're making decisions, they're contemplating, they're working things out. So let's do the cards then and see what's going on because every day I'm shuffling. So really powerful because inspiration, clarity coming in for the feminines, decisions and, you know, this wisdom coming in for the masculines and the journey is moving ahead. So thank you, angels. What do we need to know for the feminines today? What do we need to know for the divine masculines today? And what do we need to know for this amazing journey? Thank you, thank you, thank you. What questions do we need to be asking as a divine feminine? As a divine masculine, what do we need to know? And for the journey, thank you angels, what do we need to know? There we go. What miracles are happening for the feminines, for the divine masculines, wow, and for the journey? Look how powerfully they're coming out here. Really strong, amazing. So before I do the masculine messages, which I'm going to do at the end, let's do these ones. So for the masculines, look at this, I surrender it all. So today your masculine is surrendering it all, giving it to heaven. And I feel this is another reason why they may be quiet or they've gone within. Asking this question, there is always a solution of the highest good. So they're looking for the solution. They're trying to find the way for the highest good of all, especially their family, their children, anyone involved, also you. You know, they don't want to hurt you. They are surrendering it all now. So they are looking for the solution that will be for the highest good. I release my need to be perfect and I center myself into my commitment to serve the world more love. So your masculine wants to serve the world. It's working on their purpose to be extraordinary instead of ordinary. They want to make these changes and they want to do it now. If this was my last day, would I be satisfied with my life? So this is what they are contemplating. Would I be satisfied if my life ended today? Well, most of the masculines would not be satisfied because they are not with their feminine. So they are realizing this now. What would I have done differently? So your masculine is questioning their life, realizing they need to make a change and they need to do it now. And what is my instinct telling me to do? And that's come to you, to be with you, to spend time with you, to make their life with you. So before I carry on, let's do the messages. So what is your masculine's instinct telling them to do? What do they want to communicate with you on this day? We've got here, I promise you, Union, amazing. Amazing because we've had the moose that look like a stag. We've got the deer that is the symbol of the stag. I promise you union. So if I could live my life differently, if I could choose my life again or I could go back, what would I do? I would automatically promise you union. And your masculine is showing you this today with this amazing deer, you know, with the energy of the moose. I promise you union. I want to tell you how I feel. So feminines, they want to tell you. They're preparing to tell you. They want to get this done. I want to tell you that I promise you union. I hear my message through music. Wow. So again, they're communicating all of this to you through music, showing you how they feel, showing you what they're doing, where they're going, you know, showing you that you turn them on, that they are sending you love through music, through the signs that you see that they are healing right now, they're seeing the light, they're finding the way because you hold the key to their heart and they are transforming. So they're going to send you keys, butterflies, they're opening the doors to this connection, they're showing you the truth about this love. What else do they want to communicate to you today? What else do they want to communicate to you? I miss talking to you. So they're definitely missing that friendship. They're missing those chats because you turn me on so much. And it's not just this in a physical way. You turn them on with your chats. When you're communicating, when you're talking about these amazing things, ideas, inspiration, you turn them on. You turn them on to who they are. They find themselves within you. They find their way with you. So feminines, what do you need to know today? Look at this. There it is again. Forgive your twin. So why do you need to forgive your twin? 
what do they want to confess to you today? I promise I'm coming home. Don't give up on me. Another sign here of union. I should be further ahead in life by now. So this is what they are asking you to forgive them for. I'm sorry I'm not further ahead. I'm sorry I'm not yet there, but I promise you I am coming home. I am coming home to you. So feminines, by spreading loving energy, you will attract more love. So be in the energy of love today and it will open you up to power. Releasing anger from the past sets me free in the present. So release the past, let go of blame, let go of all that pain and focus on the now. And ask yourself this, what kind of advice on life would your old self give to your current self? What would your old self give to your current self? So remember, you're so much stronger now. You've grown so much more. So imagine if you could go back, what would your old self say to who you are? You know, what would you say? Obviously, if you could go back in time, you'd say carry on. You may even say move on or don't meet that person. But I feel this is a big sign about trust, perseverance and love. To focus on love, to know yourself, to keep being you. And the understanding that you are as strong as a tree. Because trees are strong, they've got firm roots and they stand in the ground. And you're being reminded of your power as a divine feminine. That all of you loves all of them. And all of them loves all of you. It's forever. And that your creativity is strong. So work on you right now. That's where your power is to bring in the love. And for the journey, whenever I compare myself to others, I simply say this prayer. The light I see in them is a reflection of my own inner light. So remember what you see in others is what you see in yourself. You have power. What is the most courageous thing I've done and how did it make me feel? So this will bring healing in. Think of a time where you were courageous and strong and how it made you feel. It made you feel powerful on top of the world. And that's where you are now because you are a twin flame. You are strong. Think outside the box. When you're courageous, you think outside the box. You set yourself free. And to do that, you may have to retreat. So this is another reason why we go within. We take a step back and we see things from a different angle. We zoom out so we can zoom in and see things clearer. So you're being reminded of your power, that you are a twin flame and all is well. So the message coming through today is trust the journey. Your masculine is promising you union and you're exactly where you're meant to be. Have a great day. Sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.